We always try to create designs for 3D printed objects that are really uniquely designed to be 3D printed. You couldn't manufacture them in another traditional process, in one piece at least. We're 3D printing in plastic, and, and a tie usually is a very you know, fluid piece of fabric. We create it out of many pieces that are interlocked that actually do bend and flow with your body as you move. But to make them move, we had to uh, design them to be printed and to be interlocking, interconnected, kind of like a complicated chain link. That also helped us solve a problem of the build volume of most 3D printers is not big enough to print a tie, which is, you know, a tie is usually about two yards long until you tie it up. We turned it on its side and put it in a spiral shape to fit it on a build platform. In this case, we, we did need a little bit of support material to keep the tie print from sort of falling over before the print was complete, but we, we created that support ourselves and made it easy to break off so that it could come off the build plate and be ready to go. That, that was very important to us. We go to a lot of events around 3D printing and felt that, you know, fashion accessories are uh, a good way to show people not only the capabilities of 3D printing, but the uniqueness of our designs. I do feel that there's a significant place for 3D printing in fashion and fashion accessories. I think the technology continues to get better and better and make the possibility of different kinds of fashion accessories just greater and greater. Uh, but even as the technology is today, there's absolutely uh, a lot of opportunity there. And I think we'll see more and more of it.